what's up? It's Emily Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would talk about a couple of writing hacks, and when I say a couple, I mean probably around two, that I've used over the last two or so weeks as I've just finished my second novel in the Believe Me Not series. Uh, I actually had someone message me on my Instagram and asked me for some advice and I told him exactly what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, so the first writing hack is that if your plan is hindering your writing abilities or your creative flow, scrap it. You don't need to have a solid plan or a solid outline if you feel like you cannot adhere to it. Um, the person that messaged me on Instagram said that he felt like his characters weren't fitting into his plot. That's usually a pretty good sign that the plot is not working for you. If your whole plan can't adapt, then maybe you're not the person to have a plan. Writing my last book, I actually had to make the same adjustment when I got towards the end of my plan. Things just weren't working out quite how I expected and I decided to completely get rid of the plan and just write freely. Um, it is a big adjustment, especially when you're used to having a plan and sticking to it for so long and it definitely did kind of slow me down and slow the whole process, but I do believe at the end of the day that it was the best thing to do and it helped me get in touch with my creative side again to kind of recreate the ending. And I think that is such great advice that I was given and I think it's such great advice to be given. If something isn't working for you, change it. Nothing about writing a book is solid. Something that works for me might not work for you and vice versa. It's all about figuring out what's good for you and what works for you and if that means half of your book is planned out and half of it isn't, then so be it. You just need to come up with the best routine for yourself and for your writing talents and capabilities. And it might take a very long time to do that. It's taken me a long time and every book that I've written has been very different. Some books I will have planned to the T. Other books I've written completely freely and like this one that I just finished, half of it was planned and the ending wasn't. I think that's such a great writing hack to keep in the back of your mind that you can just change it. You're in control. You can do whatever you want and sometimes we need to loosen the reins a little bit and just let the story get there by itself, you know? Besides that, there was one other writing hack that I've had to use quite a lot recently so I just thought I would add that in here, is that when you're writing and you have a new idea for your story or you realise a plot hole or you think of things that you need to add or you need to add things to characters etc. The best thing to do rather than stressing about it and immediately going back and trying to fix it is just write it down in notes on your computer and don't worry about it. Change everything from that point forward to suit your plan or whatever you've discovered or figured out or concocted. Go from there and then when you go back and revise that's when you can fix it up. In my first book I had a lot of meltdowns when I'd you know figure something out and be like wow massive plot hole and it would be really stressful but it doesn't need to be. Write it down, you know you're gonna revise the book, you know you're gonna edit the book a million times over just add that to the list of things you need to do when you're editing. Um, that has saved me a lot of stress throughout this writing process. Uh, so I'm glad that I finally listened to that because when I first heard it, I was like, yeah, okay. I don't know if I can do that, but um, I did it and now we're here. So I thought I would add that in here just for, I thought I would add that in here just for anyone that is struggling with that or gets a little bit anxious or worked up and, you know, worried, stressed about these kind of things. So yeah, those are my writing hacks. And while I am making a video that is kind of sporadic and a little bit all over the place, I thought I would also let you guys know about the new book that I just bought because I am very excited about it. If you have watched any of my videos, you'll know how much I love loved love Vampire Academy um, and it was Vampire Academy's 10th anniversary so I got the 10th anniversary edition which has four new stories from the original cast in the back of the book which I am so excited about uh, it's fantastic you should get it everyone should support Rochelle Mead because I love her and I just wanted to share that for all the Vampire Academy fans because 
13 year old me is like ecstatic right now so and look how pretty the cover is like isn't that gorgeous I love it just wanted to add that in uh, I know this isn't a very long video but it was just a little writing act that I thought I would give you guys so I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you could share any of my videos or, you know, like any of my social medias, that would be greatly appreciated. And thank you for watching.